Hey everyone, welcome back. Tonight we're gonna to be going over a rivalry that maybe not a lot of people are realizing, not a lot of people are seeing. As you know, Zoologist B just came out. Yeah, boy, special edition. I'm really excited about it. Um, if you've watched my other review, you might be surprised right now wondering, if you had such uh, mixed reviews, mixed views about it, why did you go ahead and buy the bottle? It grew on me after a couple days. Um, it, it, it was something, I'll get into it once we get into the face-off, but I, I just had to go through with it. And you can see here the special edition, it kind of has this honeycomb sleeve. This is really slippery, by the way. Like, this is slick. I dropped this, I, I dropped this once, and I almost dropped it twice. This is really slick, be careful with this. And in the box, you can see it's yellow, um, you know, bee kind of theme going on. And then on the inside, very beautiful. You get the zoologist blurb, the story with the notes, and you, of course, get the bottle. And look, it's a queen bee. Nice pun, Victor. <laughs> well played, queen bee. Um, and the juice looks like honey itself, and that was probably both intentional and um, a technical feature. I'm going to go ahead and read the notes. I've already got the B review, but we're, this is going to be an extensive, comprehensive gourmand face-off. So top notes, we've got orange ginger syrup, royal jelly accord, heart notes broom, not a sweeping broom, the flower broom, heliotrope, mimosa, orange flower, base notes, benzoin, labadum, musk, sandalwood, tonka, vanilla, and it does contain beeswax, but according to zoologists, the bees were not harmed, so that's very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Um, this is a real deal gourmand. It's bombastic. It's a really authentic honey. Very nice smelling. Next up, we have zoologist hummingbird, the competitor. And here it is, a cute little hummingbird. And in the same steampunk fashion, you have the portrait. And it's kind of a young bachelorette maiden hummingbird. And you've got your notes here. I'll go over them. Oh, it's a laundry list. Um... I'll fly through it. Apple, cherry, citrus, plum, rose, violet leaf, heart notes, honey, honeysuckle, lilac, mimosa, peony, tulip, uh, ylang ylang, base notes, amber, cream, coumarin, moss, sandalwood, white mud, musk. Sorry I read it so fast, but man, these have laundry lists of notes, so I could spend all night doing it. Um, getting into it, um, I would, oh, it's really hard. I thought I had the answer figured out. Um, by the beginning of this video, but they're similar and they're both different. They both list a honey note. Um, B wins in the honey note. It's the most authentic honey note. Um, it, it, it's honeycomb, it's rich. Um, it's, it, it's so rich and realistic, it's almost animalic. Um, but not in a negative way, it just smells with the musk and everything. It smells like a true honeycomb. It smells like bees have worked here. Um, whereas in the hummingbird, you get uh, a nectar. I would call it a precursor to honey. It's not honey to my, at least compared to bee, of course. Um, it's not honey. It's more of a nectar note. Um, but it's very pleasant. If you've ever smelled flowers, if you've ever pulled the little stem out of a flower and you've like eaten um, the nectar, I don't know if that's just like a thing in the South. It exists here. You can like eat the flower and the nectar. and tastes really good. That's like what's in hummingbird. Hummingbird calls itself a gourmand, um, and it has gourmand aspects, but it's not, um, and it's gonna sound weird, but when you say gourmand, you kind of imply appetizing, like, oh, this makes my mouth water, I wanna eat it. And technically, the more edible notes are in Hummingbird because you have fruits, apple, cherry, plum, things like that. But the fruit is very well blended, and that's a good thing, but it's also, Hard to pick up specific notes. What You can watch these all in my separate videos, but I was able to pick up the cherry um, the most compared to the other fruits. Um, but in Hummingbird, there's more floral. There's more things to kind of um, blend in the gourmand aspect, so it's not as overtly gourmand as B, whereas B is a dedicated gourmand. Um, hummingbird has some floral aspects. It's not a dedicated gourmand. It has gourmand aspects, but it's not just straight up, this is honeycomb and food and yummy vanilla and ginger and all these things you want to eat. I mean, B makes your mouth water. It is, I, it, it's good. It, and I know I almost sound like I'm contradicting myself um, compared to my other video. Um, but in my other video, I did like the honey. Uh, I, I did like the sweetness of it. I thought it was an authentic honey. I like that. 
I thought there was, uh, in my other video, I talked about how there was a little too much Tonka for my nose, and that remains true. I'm not gonna change or edit my past video. Um, I think my initial, um, I don't wanna say criticisms, but just, uh, I guess criticisms, you know, constructive feedback. But um, I, I, I've, I've coped with that. I've gone through my coping process and I see the other notes. I get the ginger more. I was maybe impatient. I didn't wait out some of the other ingredients. Excuse me, it makes, I mean, these are both like floral and everything like that and I get allergic so it's like I can make my nose run. Anyways, um, this is just very rich. Um, I think it's a beautiful bottle. I, I, I love the artwork and I love the bottle. They're beautiful. And I think I, I really wanted a honey fragrance. Um, I had back to black. I got rid of it because it wasn't, it was just too artificial for me. Whereas this is very authentic. This really smells like honey. Um, so as far as gourmands go, bees is a better gourmand. But if we're talking about as far as fragrances go, I'm more inclined to say hummingbird. Hummingbird has more versatility. Hummingbird is more complexity. Hummingbird can be more things. Whereas B is, it can't be anything beyond a sweet gourmand. It can't work in different, this is work safe. This is good for a date. You can wear this to a ball, a black tie event. You can wear this to a party. You can wear this to the grocery store. This you want to wear outside. I mean, it's it, it, there's more constraints and restrictions with B. So um, because even though it's the better gourmand, is that necessarily a better fragrance? But this is about gourmands. B wins in that sense. But I'd like to continue saying I think Hummingbird is very underrated. Um, not a lot of people have tried it. There's not a lot of reviews up about it. And that's shocking because this is a beautiful fragrance. Um, the fruitiness, it, you know, it, yeah, you can't, it's harder to pick out the notes, but you just get this, um, just rich fruitiness. Um, it, it, it's not a loud note, but when you smell it, you can't not smell it. There is that rich fruit, but it's mostly floral. It's that green stem. It's, it, 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 I mean, it's an elegant fragrance, but it's, um, so elegant. It can also be worn very casually, um. It does have strong projection, um, as all zoologists pretty much do in strong longevity. But um, when someone smells it, uh, I don't think they're going to be as mentally and emotionally as affected as when they smell B. When they smell B, they're going to make an image of you in their head, for better or for worse. B makes such a statement. Look at the picture. It's a queen B. So, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I'm a boss, you know, kind of thing. And where whereas hummingbird is a lot more subdued, and I guess I'm like reading too much into it, being a conspiracy theorist. Like, oh, look at the picture, look at the picture. But um, it's, I, I think it is kind of telling of what the fragrances are. This is a more conservative, and this will you can just look at it and you can tell it's not so. Um, B, I think you can wear year round. I think it's strong enough to wear in the fall and the winter. Um, whereas Hummingbird, I would not wear this in the fall and the winter. This would be a spring summer scent. But it's better in the heat. It won't be as cloying. This thing will be cloying in the heat. I will not wear this in the heat. I am not brave enough to wear it in the heat. This, absolutely. Um, as long as you can control the trigger, you can control where this fragrance goes. It is so flexible. Um, let me smell it. I gotta smell it. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it's like just grabbing a handful of flowers. It's just pulling them from the ground and just smelling them. It's, I mean, it's it's really pretty. Um, so I'm at kind of an impasse because it's it's hard to recommend, um, you know, just because bees the better gourmand, it's not necessarily the better fragrance. So it's, it's hard to make this recommendation to you guys if you had to pick one. If, if you could only have one, I would say Hummingbird. If you could only pick one, I would say Hummingbird because it will do more for you. It will be more for you. It will work for you more. Um, if you really want to go beast mode Hummingbird, uh, just go hard on the sprays. But if you want something elegant and subdued um, and something interesting, this is, this is a fragrance that people will be like, what is that when they smell it on you? Because it's not like other florals. This is... Um, 
it, it really smells authentic, and that's something Victor does really well, is his ingredients are very authentic. Even though I bust his chops about the Tonka and B, I still think it's a very high quality Tonka. I still think it's a high quality sweetness. Um, and, and that's what I like about zoologists is, um, you know, it, 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 whether or not you agree with the ingredient choice, you can't deny their quality and you can't deny how innovative and creative they are. They are. I'm really happy I got B. Um, please watch my other reviews. Um, I, I get a little more in depth than the other ones. I talk about them a little more. Um, and I think they're a little more candid because that was, I, I, I've worn these a little more now. So my opinions have changed slightly. If you really want that first impression, watch my videos and you'll kind of see the first impression. Zoologist is something you have to grow into. You can't uh, just make your decision, your opinion at, on the first wearing. You need a couple. And B was something I had to grow into, which sounds strange because you would expect uh, what Victor intended to be very mass pleasing took me a while to grow into, but whereas something like rhinoceros, I knew in the first spray, oh, this is so good. And same with hummingbird, oh, this is so good. But with B, I was like, oh, I can feel it out. And then after a couple wears, I'm like, okay, here we go, bye. Uh, but thank you, Victor, here's my wallet. Look what you've done to my, look what you've done to my wallet, Victor. Come on. But I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to your other fragrances. Um, I have a feeling you're watching it. So uh, thanks for watching it. Thanks for stopping by. Everybody else, um, I'm looking forward to reviewing more zoologists. I can't promise I'm going to be buying all the bottles. Like uh, my, my pockets aren't that deep, so I'm being selective. I will be getting some samples of others. I do have a sample of another zoologist I'm waiting to break out. Um, he's a very polarized and controversial one, but I am very excited to give it a shot. Anyways, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.